in this video i will be talking about file stack one of the best solution for developers that has the ability to easily integrate file uploading into our applications we will look at the theory first and after that i will show you how to upload files to file stack server with the help of a simple project i will be using html css and javascript for that so make sure to stick around this video and let's get started First of all let's see what is file stack. File stack is a cloud based storage that allows developers to easily integrate file uploading functionality into their applications. With file stack you can upload, store, transform and deliver files of any size and type. File stack supports over 25 cloud storage providers and can handle any file type including images, videos, audio files and documents. Now that you know what is file stack, let's see some features and benefits that file stack provides to its users and customers. One of the key benefits of using file stack is its ease of use. With just a few lines of code, developers can integrate file stack into their applications and start uploading files right away. File stack also offers a wide range of features including file processing, image and video transformations and more. With file stack developers can easily integrate powerful file handling capabilities into their applications without having to worry about the storage. Now let's see how file stack works. File stack works by providing developers with a simple API key that they can use to upload, store and manipulate files. When a user uploads a file through an application, the file is first stored in the file stack cloud storage and then processed according to the program. This processing can include things like resizing images, converting file types and more. Once the file has been processed, it can be delivered to the user or stored in one of over 25 cloud storage providers. The uses of file stack are endless. File stack can be used in a wide range of applications from social media platforms to e-commerce sites. File stack could be used anywhere. For example, a social media platform might use file stack to allow users to easily upload and share photos and videos. Similarly, an e-commerce store might use file stack to allow users to upload product images and descriptions etc. I hope you got the point. And now let's actually create a very simple application that allows users to upload an image to file stack and then fetch the image back from file stack to display it inside the app. So for this first of all you need to get your API key and for that we need to sign up to file stack. So just go ahead and sign up. It is very simple. You just need to enter your full name, email and password. And once you are done, just click on the next button. And there you can see that on the right hand side, they have clearly mentioned that they will provide free 1 GB cloud storage, 500 upload limits and many more. So you don't need to pay anything to get started. And once you are used to it and find it helpful, then you can become their pro customers to get unlimited storage and other features. So this is amazing, especially for creating projects and services. So anyways, I have my account already created. So I will click on login here button to continue. So this is the dashboard you will be provided once you are signed up. Now here on the top right hand side, you will find your API key. So to connect our application to file stack, we will need this API key. And on the left hand side menu, you will find content browser and this is the place where all your files will be visible or hosted. At the moment, we don't have any files. So the next step is to create a basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript website that will help users to upload files to file stack server. And then we can show these files to them like posts. So I am currently in a folder called code with Masood. Here let's create a new folder and name it to file stack project. Now let's open this folder inside visual studio code. Here I will create three files index.html, style.css and script.js. Now let's open index.html and using exclamation marks let's write the boiler code first now in order to work with file stack you need to add this script tag in your html that you can find in file stack docs inside the file pickers and web and let's also add our script.js file and style.css file as well now let's write a basic layout 
first of all let's change the title to files tag project and here let's create an h1 tag with the same title once again after that let's write a basic input tag with unique id and file type then i will create a simple image tag with empty src because we will add the src for our image dynamically in order to show it right away after uploading i will give it a unique id as well now that we are done with html next let's go to style.css and give it some basic styling as well so i have written some basic styles for our website finally let's go ahead and write the functionality inside our script.js file first of all we need to initialize file stack with api key so for that let's write file stack.init and inside this let's copy and paste our api key as string and let's store it inside a client variable next we need to access our input and image tags so that we can use them here in javascript so as i have given them a unique id i will simply use get element by id to get them and finally let's use the change event listener on our input file element and let's create our file variable and initialize it to the file that we will choose using event.target.files and let's fetch single file for now you can select multiple images as well so I want you to practice it by yourself and make this application as good as possible. After that let's use our client object to call the upload method and let's pass it our file variable. Now this should return a promise so let's use then and catch methods to handle it. So in then block I will be getting the response from our file stack server that is nothing but our image. So I will use this to display uploaded image in the image element and will display the error inside catch block if something bad happens. So we are done with the basic app. Let's test it out. So I will spin my live server and as you can see our app is running fine and it is showing us choose file button. So let's click on this and let's choose an image. I will pick this one. Now as you can see our file is uploading and once it is done it will show up right away. And there you go here it is. And to check this whether it has been uploaded to our file stack let's go to file stack and inside content browser you will find it under assets. And you can also delete and manage your files here. So guys this was a quick tutorial on file stack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to play around file stack, the link should be provided in the description. Create more complex applications with file stack with image options, pre-built UI integration and connecting your application to other cloud storage providers. So guys to conclude, file stack is a fast storage provider with powerful API that can be used to easily integrate file uploading functionality into any application. With its wide range of features and support for over 25 storage providers, FileStack is an excellent choice for developers looking to integrate highly performance based file handling feature into their applications. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. At last, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.